ये ऐतिहासिक तस्वीरें दिल्ली के कंस्टिट्यूशन क्लब से आई हैं। दिल्ली की दहलीज पर दक्षिण ने जबरदस्त दस्तक दी है बीते शनिवार राजधानी दिल्ली में पेरियार की विरासत का जश्न मनाया गया इस दौरान पेरियार पर आधारित कई किताबों का विमोचन भी किया गया पेरियार पर अंग्रेजी में 50 किताबें भी इंट्रोड्यूस की गई। कार्यक्रम के दौरान स्टूडेंट फेडरेशन ऑफ दर्विडियन की भी लॉन्चिंग हुई एस दक्षिण भारतीय छात्रों को बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटीज में एक मंच मुहैया कराने के लिए शुरू किया गया है इस दौरान डी यू और जामिया समेत कई यूनिवर्सिटीज के छात्रों ने हिस्सा लिया कार्यक्रम में तमिलनाडु की सत्तारूढ़ पार्टी डीएमके के सांसद और पदाधिकारी भी शामिल हुए डीएमके के सांसद डॉक्टर एस संथिल कुमार और एमएम एम अब्दुल्ला ने छात्रों का हौसला बढ़ाया और वंचित वर्गों पर हो रहे हमलों की मुखालफत की a rationalist social reformer the person who broke all the practiced rituals in the name of faith who died almost 5 decades ago is still so dear to so many people indian socio economic political structure rooted on caste nikmani created by brahmanism which cunningly imposed that sanskrit language is the mother of the dravidian race and the varnashrama principle taught by it's the basic principle of the dravidians simply indian political scenario is divided into two parts one is a brahmanism and another one is a anti brahmanism brahmanism was brahmanism is and brahmanism will be focusing on imperialistic and capitalistic ideology by posing varnashrama varnashrama principles based caste hierarchy which is the primary objective to exploit the various social and economic status of the people in various level whereas anti brahmanism is completely opposite which is the basic principle of uh, dravidian movement see we are not against for brahmins we are not against for any individual we are against for the brahmanism which makes the supremacy and which imposes the inequality let us make it simple if you are a non brahmin if you are a non brahmin you are a dravidian irrespective of language and religion very simple first try to understand this if you are a non brahmin you are a dravidian irrespective of language and religion of this soil i say that it is a must that the dravidian ideology must be taken beyond the south and should be spread throughout india just because we have so much of statistics and so much of success that has been created by the dravidian ideologies and the dravidian principles that is for the rest of the india to follow which of course the central government be the congress or the bjp have now started following the schemes and uh, various other programs that have been introduced by the dravidian parties in tamil nadu so that it is there for the rest of the india also to benefit and this term the dravidian stocks beyond tamil nadu was first taken and spoken by our founder of the dmk party and our first chief minister of dmk party from tamil nadu uh, uh, cn anadure he was the first one to say the word the dravidian stocks and that was the time when the rest of india turned their heads to see what it means and what it is so today today we stand at a very crucial moment where the students organization because they are the most powerful organization and especially at a time when tamil nadu was brutally attacked inside the jnu campus and when pictures of tande periya lenin marx ambedkar were taken away from the wall and thrown and it is the right time now to form the students federation for dravidians where you will have to fight it out it is the students who have the courage it is the women it's the girl students it is you all it's the time for you all to come together and to voice out against the oppressed because dravidian simply means it is an inclusive growth for all to have a human development index 
which is there for everybody to see and it is always against the oppression. So whenever you are being oppressed, for an example in JNU, before there were around 100 Tamil students studying from Tamil Nadu. Now they have around only 40. And what they do? They try to attack you by your principles, by your ideologies. They don't involve or they don't come into a conversation with you. But they use force and they brutally attack you and they uh, instigate you by removing the pictures and this thing. So now there are 40 students and by this attack, what happens? The students' parents will feel very, they, they will be in a sense of fear to send their students and slowly by this the numbers will still be reduced because when you cannot attain or gain things by your principles and your ideologies, this is what they do. So this is not a time to bow down or this is not a time to succumb to. This is a time to fight back with your principles, ideologies and show them. As one student over here said that all along I have been li living with an identity of a scheduled caste or a scheduled tribe for uh, this thing. And when I try to come into limelight and when I come into success still, they sideline me and this thing. So the best way to give it back to them is you kill them with your success, you kill them with your smile, you kill them with your, show them that you can. So the only way to do it is by education. Only if you are educated, because education is the only thing which can stand to you with you till your death. इस दौरान दरवेड़ कसगम के सचिव जी करुणानिधि ने कहा कि दक्षिण भारतीयों का आंदोलन आत्म सम्मान का आंदोलन है ये किसी के खिलाफ नहीं है ऑलमोस्ट 48 जजेस आर फ्रॉम द बैकवर्ड क्लासेस एंड शेड्यूल कास्ट कैटेगरी दैट इज 83% आर फ्रॉम दिस कैटेगरी सो द रेस्ट इज 18% ऑल अपर कास्ट कंप्लीटली रिवर्स इफ यू कंपेयर द ऑल इंडिया लेवल of the high court judges of various courts, Tamil Nadu stands alone in a different way because of the ideology which has been brought as non-Brahmin manifesto in 1916. That ideology is percolated down the lane even today that there is a representation in the judiciary level in the high court of Madras that is what we have to take from these two books, which are very clear. The roadmap is very clear that social justice together with self-respect on the one hand, and there should be a federalism. All this combined together alone can take the country forward, for which a state has worked for nearly 100 years. And we are seeing some results. I don't say that that is the best state in this country. I don't say like that. But comparably, if you compare any other state, that state stands unique because it includes everyone. It is an inclusive society that is being run in Tamil Nadu. Because of this ideology put forth by our leaders, Sir Alexander Cardio, a member of the Executive Council in 1913, he deposes before the Public Service Commission that the representation of the Brahmins in the Madras Presidency is almost to the level of 90 to 95 percent in all the departments. And if an examination is conducted in the present form, that community will stamp in the entire process. That was the eye-opener for our great leaders, Dr. T. M. Nair, Sir Piti Tyagaraya, Dr. Nadesanar, all these leaders, they saw this data, they decided to form a movement that is called the South Indian Liberal Federation, which we call today as a Justice Party, because they started an English journal in the name of Justice. So it was commonly known as, even today as a Justice Party. They brought out the manifesto, giving an outline how the society should be how the representation of the backward classes, the scheduled caste minorities should be. And when they captured power in 1920, they immediately issued a communal GO in 1921, giving representation of 100% reservation, even for the Brahmins. The entire country, it was that Madras presidency alone that gave reservation for the Brahmins also. But it was not implemented immediately. Again in 1928, they reissued the GO, 100 percent, 
The Brahmins were given initially for every 12 posts. Two posts were given to Brahmins. कार्यक्रम में बड़ी संख्या में छात्रों सामाजिक कार्यकर्ताओं एक्टिविस्ट और बुद्धिजीवियों ने भी हिस्सा लिया द न्यूज बीक के संपादक सुमित चौहान ने इस दौरान सामाजिक न्याय के लिए एम के स्टालिन सरकार के द्वारा किए जा रहे काम की सराहना की I must use this uh, platform to uh, appreciate the uh, wonderful job of M K Stalin, who is the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu from D M K. He is one of the best guy we are looking for. That you guys should cross the border also. Please come to the North Delhi, North India. Please come and save us from this Gower Party people. Uh, he has the Dravidian model and Dravidian model that we need to, you know. learn from the dravidian uh, model that how to build a society that is based on inclusion that is based on justice that is based on equality also prime minister narendra modi says that sabka saath sabka vikas sabko hum aage badhayenge sabko hum ye karayenge but only uh, there is a model dravidian model that uh, which is you know uh, making it reality so prime minister narendra modi and his government should learn from uh, stalin also and he is also i just need one minute only yeah thank you because i don't want to miss uh, uh, the time uh, on on issue of reservation the ews and the neat in medical exams and uh, non brahmin priest uh, priest he was you know appointing these are some of the best things which he has done in when you know when i look at his government from north india's perspective and i see okay there is no one from north india who dare to do it who cannot uh, who opposes the ews reservation who opposes the neat uh, uh, the the uh, dominance of uh, uh, these caste in neat and who who can you know talk about the non brahmin priest in the uh, 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 hindu religion so nobody is there in in north india although they are you know trying to appease the uh, brahmin people also upper caste people also and you know uh, just diverting themselves from the agenda of bahujan and the social justice so we look uh, uh, at very hopefully to the stalin and his government that you guys should also come cross the border come to north delhi and save us because this is the time to save the democracy if somebody is you know challenging the constitution of india and the democracy of india we have a dravidian model we have great people and we have a legacy of periyar and his you know uh, people those who are uh, in the line to save the democracy and to do really good for the society and it's not uh, only about the ideas it is about the reality look at the dravidian model periyar sirf dakshin bharat ke nahi balki pure bharat ke mahanayak hain वो हमारे देश को बेहतर बनाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे इसलिए उन्हें राष्ट्र निर्माता के तौर पर भी देखा जाना चाहिए the projection of peria the agenda and the propaganda by the uh, so called uh, you know fundamentalist people of the india that peria and his legacy is the anti hindi uh, movement they are against hindi they are against the nationalism they are against the patriotism so that kind of agenda is already there which is you know coming to your whatsapp your facebook post your twitter everywhere which is coming to uh, every day to day life in uh, india but it is not the same it is not exactly uh, what it means they are afraid of periyar actually because when you know periyar raises question mark to the very fundamental of the society and everything what what is you know happening uh, is not good uh, it is you know uh, suffocating to the down trodden people it is against their interest so periyar is raising a question mark and when especially the north india the hindi belt we call it gobar patti some of people might understand it uh, they call it hindi patti we call it gobar patti because it is another none other than the gay gobar gomutra and they are happy with it only so they cannot digest periyar who raise a very very strong objection against the idea of brahmanism in india but yes we have to give the uh, give the north indians the pills to digest periyar will give them the churan churan is a, a kind of powder which helps you to digest so we'll give them churan uh, north indian that yes you need to accept you need to digest periyar because if you are willing to make this nation better if you are willing to do really good for the society and the country you have to respect his ideas you have to respect the nation builder builder from the bahujan community because these are the people who are really doing good for the society इस रिपोर्ट पर आप अपनी राय कमेंट के जरिए साझा करें और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट द न्यूज़ भी